Did you know within Thinkorswim, you could draw a trend line and then create an alert based off of that trend line? And did you know you could do the same exact thing with Fibonacci retracement levels? This same process can be achieved with multiple different drawing tools, such as price levels, such as regression lines, such as pitchforks, for example. Most drawing tools within Thinkorswim have the function to create an alert using the drawing. Then of course, there is the basic way of creating alerts within Thinkorswim, right-clicking the level you would like the alert to be set at, and then choosing if you want the alert to go off above or below said level. This allows you to create channels such as this so that you will be alerted either above this line or below this line. But did you know from here, once the alerts are on your chart, they can easily be dragged and replaced to other levels? But did you know that from within this same create alert modal, you can do much more than just set price alerts? I'm going to go into the calendar events and I'm going to set an alert for when NVIDIA reports earnings. Anytime they report earnings, I want to be alerted. I'm going to create that alert. Now, did you also know that you can see all of your alerts under the market watch tab and the alerts sub tab. These are all the alerts that we've created so far within this video. Now, say you have a list of stocks you own that you would like to know be alerted on when they report earnings. Instead of having to go through that process every time, now from within your alert book, you can right click on this earnings event for NVIDIA. You can create a similar alert. Say you own Apple. You can go ahead and type in Apple. Now earnings for Apple, I will be notified for. Create a similar alert. Say you also own Tesla. Now for Tesla, I will also be notified when they report earnings. Alerts within Thinkorswim simply pop up a small box in the top left when they go off and then appear under your messages folder by default. If you would like to hear a sound alert as well, you're gonna go ahead and right click on any alert from within your alert book here. You're going to click on alert notifications and then you are going to enable these with whatever sound you would like to play. If you would like for them to be sent to your phone or any other device that can also be set from within your alert notification settings as well. I've gone ahead and turned on the 200 simple moving average on the NVIDIA daily chart. And I would like to be notified if this stock were to break below this level as I may be interested in buying. Well, did you know that back within your create alert modal, you can do much more than just set the alert based off of the current price. If I hover over this study and I go to edit, this is going to pop up our think script editor, and this is going to allow us to code in specific conditions. If the close closes less than the average closing price over the last 200 bars, I will now be notified when that study becomes true. If I create that alert, go back to my alert box, you will see when NVIDIA closes below the 200 SMA, I will get an alert notification. Say you're a moving average crossover trader. I have now plotted the 50 SMA along with our original 200. I'm going to come back into my create alerts, study, edit. Our 200 average will still be in here. So I'm simply going to do average of the closing price of the last 50, being the 50 SMA is less than, or we can even do crosses below, just for some better syntax, crosses below the 200 SMA. If I now create that, go back to my alert box, you will see that I will be alerted when the 50 SMA crosses below the 200 on NVIDIA. Just for another example, say you would like to be notified of unusually heavy volume. This time you see I've turned on the volume average indicator. Come in, create alert, go to study, open our think script editor. This time I'm going to do return true if the volume is greater than the volume average based off of the value of the last bar multiplied by two. So now if the current bar volume is two times greater than the average volume over the last 50 bars, which is the default length for volume average, I of course will be 
alerted. Maybe you're an RSI trader. I've now got the relative strength index turned on. If I come back in, create alert, go to study, go to edit. I want to now be alerted if the RSI function crosses below 30. Of course, once I create this alert, I will now be alerted when that returns true on the NVIDIA daily chart. There are unironically millions of different custom coded alerts that we could create. And of course, I can't show them all to you within this video. However, one of the features of my website, alongside with getting access to all of my personal custom codes, is that you also get access to my personal email. So if there's any sort of custom alerts that you have an idea that you would like to set up that maybe I don't cover in today's video, reach out to me after you sign up on the website daytradingstrategies.net. I will code it for you. There's a link in the description down below. Go sign up today. Did you know that you can create alerts within Thinkorswim for when a new stock appears on a scanner. This is my high beta scanner. These are my very volatile stocks. If I want to know when a symbol is added, I simply clicked on the name of this scanner from my left drawer, selected the create alert. Now, if I create this scan, anytime a new symbol is added to my high beta scanner, I will be notified. I also showed you earlier how you can create alerts for earnings from this create alert modal here, but Thinkorswim will also have a pop-up on watch list for a stock with upcoming earnings. If you see something like that on one of your watch list and you want to be alerted when one of your watch list stocks reports earnings, you can simply click on the little icon and then click on their earnings time and it immediately pops up an alert for that calendar event. And that works for any calendar event. It'll also show dividends and other types of things as icons here. If you simply click on them like that, it'll automatically pop up the alert modal for you to easily create. And speaking of non-price level alerts, I want to jump back into my create alert modal and show you a couple of more amazing things. First, you can go to news and you can set an alert specifically for news that pops up on stocks within one of your saved watch lists. So now if any news for any stock on my PPS buy watch list pops up, I will be alerted. I actually look, there's, a, there's an example of an alert popping up in the top left there. One of my stocks on my watch list must have just gotten news and that will continue to be true as long as I leave this alert active. And then a very cool alert, if I hop back into this modal and I now go to portfolio metric, I can be alerted if my liquidity day change raises above a certain level. So if my account goes up more than 2% today, I can be alerted because of that. Did you know there is an alert function that can be called into your custom trading strategy script? I'm going to go ahead and put an alert that returns true. If my buy condition in this very simple case is true, I want it to say buy. I want it to alert me just once and I want the sound to be a ding. I could then go ahead and set up the same sort of scenario for my sell. And now when I am running this trade strategy on my chart, if these conditions are true, I will be alerted. Earlier in this video, I showed you how to create a custom alert for when the 50 simple moving average crosses the 200 simple moving average on the NVIDIA daily chart. Well, let's say you want to know if that happens on any stock in the stock market. So under the scan tab, under the stock hacker sub tab, I've got two stock filters already turned on just as kind of catch all filters. So nothing gross pops up. Then I'm going to add a study filter and we are going to simply build out that same exact think script that we did earlier. Average closing price of the last 50 crosses above the average closing price of the last 200. This is returning true when the 50 SMA crosses above the 200 SMA. Now, if I run this scanner, we should be returned a list of stocks that that has happened on today. 
which it looks like we are. We'll test in just a second. But first, before I leave, I'm going to save this scan query, call it the 5200 SMA cross. If I go ahead and save this scan query, go back out to my charts, open my left drawer, I'm going to open this watch list, the 50 to 200 SMA cross. While that loads, let's go ahead and get our 50 and 200 SMAs added to the chart just so we can once again confirm that to be true. If I do 50 and 200, change the colors, apply. Great. Now, as I click through these stocks, we should see that happening today. BBUC, yep. RH, yep. AMWD, yep. Great. Cool. Scanner works. We are being returned stocks where the 50 SMA is crossing above the 200 SMA. Now, where am I going to go from here? You might know what I can do if I want to be alerted whenever this happens in the stock market is I can do that little trick we learned quickly earlier where I can now set an alert whenever any symbol is added to this scanner. With this alert, now I will be alerted with any stock in the stock market crosses above the 50 SMA, sorry, crosses above the 200 SMA. Hopefully you learned something in today's video. I'd imagine you did because I've been using Thinkorswim for over seven years now. And in doing research for this video, I learned four or five new ways that you could create alerts. If you did, just take the half second, hit the like button. It really means a lot. Make sure you're subscribed if you enjoy this sort of content. It's free and I'm posting it almost daily. And of course, consider signing up to my website, daytradingstrategies.net. You made it to the end of the video. You're obviously interested in this form of codified trading. So go get access to all of my codes as well as my personal email if you would like hope coding anything. And I always like to give you guys that watch my full videos a little bit of an extra push. So if you use discount code END at checkout, you'll get your first month for only $15. And you can cancel it anytime easily under the My Account tab. Click the link in the description down below, sign up today, and become a better trader.